Oh, the streams are swollen, keep them doggies rolling, raw hide. Through rain and wind and weather, hell bent for leather, wishing my gal was by my side. Cut him out, ride him in, ride him in, ride him out, cut him out, ride him in, raw hide. Hello, friends. Hello. And welcome to uh, the third of our Patrick Stewart... Piecast specials. Piecast special, yes. Special being the operative word this time, I tell you. So, so far we've covered Excalibur, mm. which was something of a yawn fest, but we managed to get our way through and he wasn't in it much. Dude! Which had a pug in it. Yes, it did. It had a pug in it. We've got our pug with us at the moment. Yeah, which was an improvement. It's got spaceships in it at least, eh? Yeah. So then um, skipping Wild Geese 2, which we haven't got a copy of and... Be frank, <laughs> I can't just <laughs> ever investing in it. The next film that Patrick Stewart appears in is Life Force. Oh crap! Yeah, this was covered by the Black Dog, I think it was. That's what introduced us to it. Thank you, guys. And uh, for some reason, we have a copy. So this is the Blu-ray Arrow edition, and we're doing the, the- uh, not the theatrical, international cut, the version. international version, which I believe. Is supposed to make more sense. Yeah, we'll be yeah. the judge of that. Okay. Um, I think that's the copy that's available to hire on Amazon if you don't own your own copy. And let's face it, who would except us, apparently? So you can spend a few pennies on that. But to be honest, <laughs> it's, it's not a recommend. I've seen this two and a half times, I think. I uh, fell asleep the last time I watched it, which not a good sign, is it? I've seen it four times. Well, we've pressed play and then immediately paused. So it's all zeroed in and the screen is blank. So I'm going to press play now uh, after the countdown of doom once I've found the right remote control. Oh, we have too many of those. And they all, they're all, well, we'll put one of them are black. Yay for the white one. At least we always know what we're doing there. But anyway. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Get out! Three, Get out of there! Get out! One. Go. Yeah, little wibbly wobbly noise, and we're away with a lion there. Hello, lion. <laughs> uh, I mean, this has got spaceships in it, but you know, funnily enough, that's not necessarily the sign of quality. No, so it's got a very exciting score building up here. Where Henry Mancini in with the pink panther. I was gonna say, didn't he do the pink yes. panther? Yes. Oh, this wow. is a Toby Hooper film. Yes, of course, director of... I don't know. What's he director of? Well, most famously, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Oh. Which I saw uh, when I was at training college and freaked the living daylights out. I mean, I'm never going to go back to, so... Patrick Stewart was third build. Yeah, I think he's got a reasonable um, amount of screen time in this, although I could be wrong. We shall see. So, a 1985 film. Uh... To be, uh, Toe, Toe Poop has mostly ended up doing TV work recently. Oh, John Dykstra there doing special effects. So they're going to look good because he's the man behind some of the effects on Star Wars and the original Battlestar Galactica. It is based on a Colin Wilson novel, Space Vampires. Wow, yeah. we know we're in trouble, don't we? Yeah. Uh, the author was not pleased with the adaptation. Funny that. Yeah. And Dan O'Banner, Bannon even, is one of the screenplay writers here of Alien fame. Aha. Uh-huh. Yeah, based on the novel Space Vampires. Oh, there, there are names there. Yeah. I could have timed that better, couldn't I? But never mind. Never mind. From the studio that brought us Superman 4 and Masters of the Universe. Oh, Masters of the Universe is another good bad film. <sighs> Mostly bad. It's fun. Nice sort of space shuttle there, but with, with crazy solar long, panels. Yeah. Now, originally, this was going to be in the asteroid belt. I think it was in the book. Uh-huh. But uh, uh, 1985, of course, one year before Halley's, Halley's Comet. Comet. Yeah. And passed. I remember that. How oh, do I? I remember a visit to the London Planetarium. All very British, which is excellent. <laughs> yeah. Miles what length? 150 miles long? What's 150 miles long? My wang. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
the last time I watched this um, was um, as part of a double bill drunken horror movie night. So I think I'd had three pints in me before I started. That was about right. So the, the dude in the middle at the moment, that's, am I right in thinking that's Colin Firth? Peter Firth, sorry. Possibly. Who's Peter Firth? We'll have to wait till they mention their names. Sorry, Commander. Everything's being swamped by the coma wind. We can't get anything back to base. How long's the blackout period? All the way. Like the green. Suitably eerie. Never good news if you've got a lot of green. Pity how sad. I remember when I went to the planetarium, my dad saying to me that I might be alive to see it twice. Oh, right. Is it you another pass? In something, it is something like every 76 years. Uh huh. So I'll be 85? Yeah. Something like that? I don't know. Considering anyway. how much we punish our livers with alcohol, I think that's a push. Oh, okay. Wow, they fitted all that back inside there? That's impressive. We it's a nice space shuttle though. Where did they fit all the extra fuel to go into the asteroid belt and or rather sorry, no, this is not the asteroid belt, is it? Ooh, this is feeling horribly like the motion picture, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> ominous music of ominous. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, I, this alien spaceship supposed to either resemble an arch artichoke or a giant wang depends who you believe it's got a prickly bit at the end I don't think I want that on a wang <laughs> I need to process that Let's do it. Surface looks badly painted. In that case, it's been here a long time. It's derelict, whatever it is. Stand by, Churchill. This is like, you know, Star Trek the motion picture, but fast forward to straight to Vija, basically. Yeah. It's red now. Yeah. Yeah, Joe. Looks like some sort of giant artery or gamut. I almost have a feeling I've been here before. This has happened before. Oh, <laughs> that dude I'm recognising. I, I don't know what his character name is, so I couldn't tell you who he is. Which is annoying. Their backpacks are very big, aren't they? They are huge, yes. I believe this is some of the, the longer cut stuff. A lot of this is shortened, apparently. That's very alien, isn't it? Mm. This is obviously post alien, so. Uh... Well, here they are. The eggs. <laughs> It looks like we found the occupants of the ship. Ah, it's Nicholas Ball. Now, where am I recognising Nicholas Ball bats. from? Giant bats. Batman. <laughs> they look like they're from a toy shop. Oh, I'm definitely recognising him. Oh, he's red, in Red Dwarf as the simulant. Very Borg like makeup in that, I seem to remember. He was in LB City for a long while. Oh, I didn't really watch that. Oh, I thought that was one of your I favorite. watched Casualty. Oh, he was in that for a long while as well. Was he? What was he in that? Frank Fontaine. Okay. Or okay. He was Terry in EastEnders for a couple of years, bless him. Is he Echo Canat? Apparently he's in Hellboy. He's a Russian general in that. Okay. I don't recognise him from that, I must admit. All the Fleury's been lost to space over the years. Mm. 
okay. Those things have got little thrusters on them. Yeah, 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 the proper, you know, rocket pack. Robbie rocket rocket pack. Ah, oh, that's easy for me to say. Robbie rocket pants. Say that five times in a row. I'm sure he's been in a who. The young ones. Dr. Jim Morrison in the young ones. Oh, yeah. A wang. No, no, it wasn't in here, bro. Call it the Churchill, didn't they? Yeah, it was a British spaceship. Yeah. At least they didn't call it the Thatcher. Yes, that could have been worse. Well, of course, obviously in the early 80s, she was still thunderously popular, so. Yeah. So, presumably, ESA is European Space Agency? Yeah. But they're all Brits. Oh, and then he's got NASA on his backpack. Yeah. Eh? So it's a joint. Oh, I see. Right. Because some of them have got one of the one of the dudes has got a USA flag. Uh huh. Um. What's that? I don't know. Big net thing. Oh, I see. It's a it's a bat it's... in a net. Is it? It looks yeah. like one of those really bad helium balloons of a horse. <laughs> Smoky. Hmm. You're upside down, man. Very alien esque. Painfully isn't it? Ge- Giga, yes. Yeah. Oh, well, here we go. Oh, look, boobies. Boobies already. But his wang's covered up, you see, it's not yeah. fair. Yeah. Not no fair. Justice. Looks like she shaved. How did she shave in deep space? Lost in choir. In space, no one can see your pubes. <laughs> <laughs> alien porn film they never made. See, look, his wang's covered up. That's not fair. No, no justice. No. Free the wangs. <laughs> Lamy O'Reilly. And she's got makeup on. Yeah. No clothes. She's uh, credited as Space Girl. Right. Highly originally. Matilda May. Mostly in French films. Mostly being French and all. Uh-huh. Including uh, the intriguing sounding The Tit and the Moon from 1994. Wow. A child cannot stand the idea of having a new brother and dreams about drinking milk from the breast of his mother again. The child asks the moon to bring him a teat only for him. Wow. 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 Pretty gallant. <laughs> Supposedly, and I don't know if we believe this because it's on IMDb, uh, Liz Sladen, Janet Fielding and Marina Sirtis will were approached for this role. But on the basis that for all the time she's in the film, she's in the nip. Can't blame them for saying no, really. No. She also had to learn her lines phonetically because she didn't speak any English at the time of filming. Right. Although having spent six months in our country, she picked up the language. Yeah. 
Dodgy burrito. Get on with it. Come on. Well, I mean, all credit to them for the, you know, the wire work here is pretty damn good. I'll give them that. Mm. I'm still disappointed at the lack of Wang. <sighs> the story of your life. <laughs> <laughs> it's got an extra wing, <laughs> pair of wings on the front, doesn't it, and the normal space shuttle. Mission Control Great Britain. <laughs> so instead of Houston, what would we get, do you think? Well, it's Mission Control Great Britain, isn't it? I know, but that's Mission Control US, isn't it? So where, where would ours be based? Milton Keynes? It probably. Grimsby. Grimsby. Yeah, Churchill, this is Grimsby. <laughs> Grimsby, we have a problem. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Columbia is an actual shuttle, though. It was, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. But it didn't have those wings at the front. That's not accurate. Is that because it's a British knockoff? Or is that the Columbia coming up to it? Yes, Columbia coming ah. up to it. Ah. So, in other words, the European version has extra wings. New with wings. New with wings. Yes. <laughs> Well, I've drunk one pint. Well done, I think. How many minutes are we in? Um, quarter an hour. Okay. So, yeah, that's not too bad. Um, you'll have drunk eight pints at that rate at the end of the film. <laughs> I think so I'll maybe slow the... down a bit. I think I'll have needed the eight pints, don't you? Oof, potentially. To be honest, I'm not going to manage eight points if I can't get this fucking bottle open. Medic, engineer. <laughs> I've got the better one here. Oh, you've got a better bottle opener. Yeah. I've got... That one just rips my fingers open. It's horrible. I don't have that problem. He just won't actually open bottles, which is a bit useless, really, to be honest. Those the, the lights on the side of the helmets are more than a bit clunky, aren't they? Well, that's a given that you they don't have the completely impractical light on the face, which makes that's no true. sense at all. I would, if that were me, knock all the lights off. Oh! Ah! He didn't say Grimsby, though. Uh, no. I'm well, disappointed. This is the Americans, you see. They're talking to Houston. We'd ah. be talking to Grimsby. So it's all gone badly wrong, apparently. Jump scare. Columbia. They're all dead. Nothing down here, Columbia. We're going on into the tug bed. They've got rescue on their helmets. Does it actually say international rescue? <laughs> Calling international rescue. Oh, taking out the big video. Yeah. This is Betamax. It does look it, doesn't it? Put it in the special bag. Oh. All a bit Jaws at this point, the soundtrack, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. 
Well, now they've covered her lips up. Well, she's still got makeup on. In the tug bay for now. Yes. <laughs> He's been tugging in the tug bay. <laughs> the nude woman there. <laughs> oh, is that supposed to be the comet by Big yeah. Ben? Wow. Yeah. The, the research centre's in London. So it would have been London, not Grimsby. Abu. A lot of brown. Yeah. Not quite grown out in the 70s, have we? Oh, careful, doggy. Oh, oh, oh. I know he. Yes. Oh, who's he? Oh, bloody O'Reilly. Uh, Jerome Willis, who plays the pathologist. Is it Black Adder and Father Ted? Oh. And Doctor Who. I recognise I I reckon I know from a Doctor Who. Now James Graham was an actual BBC news reporter. Oh, okay. It was quite unusual for them to use that. I mean it's quite common these days, isn't it? But yeah. in those days it was normally somebody pretending. Yeah. All that smoking is... Uh... Yeah. No, the BBC News, they got the background and the set right. I wonder if they were yeah. allowed to actually use it. Even... Yeah, everyone went a bit nuts, didn't they, back then? Here we are. He was Stevens in 1973. So that'll be one of the Pertwees. In fact, I think it might be the Green Death, isn't he? The boss of... Oh, yes, he yes, is. He is. He is. He is. Work that out for myself in the end. Yes. Wow. He's really good at that. He is. That mask's a bit pants, isn't it? It's a bit rubbish, really. You there on official business, sir, or are you just having an ogle? Well, she's all covered up at least. She's not in the tug bay anymore. No. <laughs> Why has she got a brick under her head? Yeah, it does look a bit uncomfortable, doesn't it? Ooh, weird music building. You don't want to do that, sir. No, He's going to feel a bit no, this, isn't he? naughty, naughty, oh, naughty. Dear, oh dear, copying a feel. Oh, and that woke her up, and surprisingly, get off me boobs. Oh, oh my life, God. <laughs> Look into my eyes. Not around my eyes. <laughs> She's got the creepy smile down to a fine art anyway. He's looking at his monitor going, what the fuck? Yep. Well, that's not a good idea, is it? <laughs> oh, down the corridors of brown and green. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Nobody runs like that, really, do they? How many doors has he got? Yeah, well, that's... Oh, blimey, O'Reilly. <laughs> I 
His arse is on fire. Oh, it is, isn't it? Oh, oh that's not right. Where's she gone? Uh, okay. Gone into the blue room. Wow. Oh, he was in Blackadder as well. The witch smeller persuivant. He was the uh, before, aforementioned witch smeller. Well, now he's going to run down the 17 million yes. stairs and go through 17 doors. Just form an orderly queue. Yeah, look, they are, look. <laughs> Frank Finley. He was also in the Alec Guinness Cromwell film. Okay, don't know what that is. You've not seen it? No. Oh. I know from something else, though. What do I know him from? Well, I'll say Blackadder. I don't know that well enough. What's his name? I'll for him. He's Frank Finlay. Sorry, yes, you did tell me. Beer. If he's British, I'll wiki him. That'll be better. Oh, no. An upshot of her naked going upstairs. That doesn't uh, end well. Clunge shot, we don't Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Order and control. You will never believe what I'm looking at. <laughs> oh, we didn't turn the clock off, did we? Never mind. Why is he trying to get her down with a bit of biscuit? It's not like a dog. I don't know. He's in um, one of the adaptations of A Christmas Carol. He is, yes. I think that's where I know him from. Ah. Shatters glass with her boobies. Yeah. Oh, she had like special rubber soles on her feet, so she wasn't going to cut them. Oh, okay. It's something a relief. <laughs> yeah. That looked painful, of course. Oh, she'll catch a death. I think she's already dead. Oh.
That's Thing, Colin Firth. Colin Firth, that's it. I knew he was in it. With more hair than I'm used to him yes. seeing him with, to be fair. but He was in Spooks, wasn't yeah. he? And he's been in spy films, but I'm not sure which ones. can't remember off I don't know whether it's a Bond or what. I'll tell you who the other guys are reminding me. Yeah, that's Tony Blair. Bonds. Is it Peter Colin Firth or Peter Firth? Oh, God, I know. I don't I think know. it's Peter Firth. So in The Hunt for Red October as well, he's a political officer that gets bonked off quite early on. Apparently they wanted Sir Anthony Hopkins, uh, and they, then they thought they had a deal with Terence Stamp, and that fell through. Tell me again how the girl overpowered you. He's Peter Firth. Yeah, yeah. that's quite the uh, polar neck he's got. Right. Was it sexual? Loss of control. And the man, the guard, was dead when you came into the room. You found him as he is now. Yeah. And the girl, she came from the ship, Churchill. Huh? He spoke to you. In English? That's right. How does she know English? Going back, you say the ship's safes were destroyed in the fire. Oh, they weren't destroyed in the fire. That's what we were told to tell the public. Ooh, half an hour in, and we still haven't had Patrick Stewart. Uh, uh. That means someone escaped. We don't know. Unfortunately, the condition of the bodies make an accurate count impossible. But the heat from the fire have launched the bomb. Oh. What started the fire? Oxygen system ignited. It's a terribly hot fire. Yet you say the three cases containing the bodies were untouched. That's correct. Where were they found? They were the space of the school. Ah, that's why it's called the Tug Bay. Uh-huh. Have a look at the space tug. Oh, we didn't get to see the space tug. Aboo! Have you examined the cases? Using every technique we have. X ray scans of the cases you learning today. They're not precisely physical objects. More like a sort of force field. We've been out of our depth here. Um, yes, I know. Incredible. Have they done an autopsy yet on the gun? No, I suppose not. <laughs> Some good watch acting there. Well done, sir. Uh, may I be excused? I seem to be feeling a bit more than normal. There's a bureaucratic problem. Who did it? When? Why did they do it? A problem to be solved, aren't I? And for you? But I'm fascinated by death itself. What happens as we die, when we die, what happens after we die? You mean life after death? Yes. Is that? What? Life after mm-hmm. death? You really want to know? Well, that would be nice. <laughs> but to ask you a question. Oh. Yes, I think there is. Oh, well, there you go. Oh, well, this is the point in which you get up and leave the cinema, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, I do. Every time that I think life force, I just think of bloody data in general. Yes, life, it's life forms. <laughs> He thought Space Vampire was a bit too cheesy a title for it. Which... It's a cheesy film, though. I mean, it is. They may, may as well have been honest about it. Yeah. It looks like he's got fish in a microwave. We getting any wang? We getting any wang? No, apparently no. their wangs were covered up by socks anyway. So, oh. 
most you'd get would be a sock. Which isn't quite as attractive, is it? No. Wang in a sock. Don't want to see wank socks. I'm rather expecting him to have a unit uniform, but... Uh... Ooh. <laughs> well, my job's worth. Ooh, Whoa! Bloody hell. Again, with the jump scares, this movie. Ooh. Huh. Float with the sock. Five rounds rapid. <laughs> oh my gosh. Sock it to him. Yeah. <laughs> you notice they're not trying to shoot him in the head at all? No, not once. It's like, I know they're vampires, not zombies, but that would be my first thing if he didn't work shooting them anywhere else. I'd be like, there must be zombies shooting them in the head. Although I can understand the value of a grenade, to be fair. Yes, no, that's a sensible move. Or to zap them. But... We've had some Why aren't they wearing masks? I know they yeah. can't contaminate him, but surely he could contaminate them. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> There's something slightly comical about that, yes, isn't there? Yes, there is, yes. A sort of spitting image. Yes. Michael Hessel type of brown hair. Yeah. <laughs> what is he doing? I don't know. Give him a kiss. Fuck her up. Oh. Did you notice, by the way, there's a label on the fridge in the autopsy room and it says, please don't put lunches in here. Oh! Oh, oh yes! <laughs> Ooh. Suggest. I would recommend that you place this body in another cell. It was two hours ago that the guard was attacked. I 
Won't be at all surprised if we're seeing a pattern here. Do as he says, Kelly. Yes, sir. Also, I want the two other bodies that were shot, the males. Collect the pieces and watch them. Putting the Home Secretary on the line now. Call the Colonel, sir. Down here, Adam Hall. Kane. I'll be right there. I just found a body in Hyde Park, a naked girl. They say she's in an indescribable condition. Would that be your gun? What? That's not her. Inspector, what about the two boys? Uh, yes, they were in the park earlier, sir. Oh, but, 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 but. We saw her. Ah, dear. Yep. Yeah. We thought they might be, well, you know. Yeah. Well, did you see where they went, where the dark haired girl went? No. No, we didn't. We angled on back to see if maybe we could, you know, see if it's doing something. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, my Lord. And that policeman looks so unimpressed, yeah. doesn't he? Yeah. Same as doing something. And then we thought we'd use them. Yeah, this is all very Obviously, British. <laughs> Well, that's improvement. Hey, recognize this guy. We saw him in something quite recently. Like they're trying to do uh, uh, we're American Werewolf in London style effects, but they haven't quite got the ability, have they? You can I go on the right? I'm not sure. Doesn't know he hasn't spoken yet, really. Come on. <laughs> Give it a prod. Poke it with a stick. If in doubt. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Full of gravel. And down here we have the pathologist who was attacked by the guard. See? He too needs feeding. Woo! <laughs> that wasn't very clever. All that's left is a hand. The same thing is going to happen to that girl we found in the park. In about one hour. Go on, say something, mister. I'm supposed to recognise you, Mr Home Secretary Bowtie Man. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Is that machine that goes ping? Yeah. It's not dude. <laughs> what? I've just a call from the Blue. Seems the gold star track is Blue? Doctor Who. No, he's not been in Doctor Who. Okay. It's Aubrey Morris. Who was in Babylon 5 recently. Oh, was watched. he? Yes, the friend of um, Marcus. Duncan. Oh, okay. Um... He's also the captain of the Golgo Finchman's B Ark and Hitchhikers. The one in the bath. <laughs> Still no Patrick Stewart. Oh my life. It's a while before you get to him, I think. Really? You don't say? Well done. <laughs> but you were nervous. The cost of it is. Colonel Carlson, allow me to introduce Colonel Kane of the Special Air Services. How do you do? Oh, SAS. Mm -hmm. I thought it was some sort of detective thing, but he's the SAS. It surprises me. We've got to know what happened on this plane. Why? It may be uh, very difficult for you to accept what I'm going to say. Hmm. We're not very interested in you believing anything you have to tell us, Colonel. Do go on. Do you know something? There was a fire aboard the ship. You might be interested to know that the bodies of the two humanoids were not destroyed in that fire. They survived in their casing. I'm trying to think where that um, character that's been in it from pretty much near the start. I'm recognising him from. You see, Colonel, whatever you have to tell us is rather pressing. Please tell us what happened. That dude. Yeah. He was in for your eyes only. Oh, okay. Within 9,000 miles of Hades Comet. When we detected an object in the comet's coma, we discovered the bodies and transferred them to the church. We have in total the three humanoid creatures and one of the bat like things. This is Churchill, we copy. Welcome back. You gotten through to Earth yet, Rollins? No, sir. Ooh, flashbacks. We're back into Battle Star mode, aren't we? Yeah. What's the matter, Derek? You got another talk. You're with Joy. Gina? Still invigorated. Okay. Yeah. I'm fine. Okay. Everybody back to their stations. Trip back to Earth, the crew begin to die, one by one. Rawlings, the radio officer, was the first to go. It looks like he's smashing up the computer with a loom brush. It does, doesn't it? 
don't remember. I don't remember. I don't Sorry, recall. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, all the space was are holding hands. <laughs> Nearly, if they had hands, they would be. That's it. Yeah, it's not bad. Oh, they've got a picture of Hallie. Oh, okay. Of course they do. He's also got a map pinned up. I'm thinking, what, a where map of where? What use is a map in space? Observation window. Mm, I can see my hands from here. Uh. I couldn't expose the world to what we brought back with us. Very much feels like a cut price alien there. Yeah. Do again, I do like the look of the sets. I mean, you're right, they're very alien looking sets, but. Well, they aspire to be. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Glowy laser thing. Yeah. It's a bit like a whisk. Looks a bit like Stephen Merchant. <laughs> Does a bit. Oh, he's setting fire to it. Fire, do do do, teach you to burn. Ooh, see if we get to the little tiny escape pod. Tiny escape pod of tiny! Ooh, the bluey. Well, no fault in the pyrotechnics in this, anyway. And I still didn't want to leave. And her was the hardest thing I ever did. I like his glass frog. <laughs> what? <laughs> There's a glass frog on the table. I'll have a look. I like he's got a little model space space shuttle. Oh, one of those clocks, those black ones with the glow-in-the-dark hands. Everybody had them back then. I 
the tracking. This reported an unusual structure leaving Hades Comet. It's good for us. What is it? Radar ranging reports the object is a needle-like shape 150 miles long. Its present course projects out into a perfect Earth orbit in a little more than two days. Very brown suit, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Do you know, I had one of them. Everybody had one of them clocks. Mm, big came, chunky switch on the top. Yep, came from the Argos catalogue. Mm -hmm. The laminated book of dreams. <laughs> Ooh, what the hell? Uh, I will appear in the night and take your t-shirt off. And now, she's covered up anyway. Huh? Yeah, but now he's in a crypt or something. Not covered up anymore. They're yeah. <laughs> in the crypt of a church or something. He's still in bed. Is that a screaming rat? What's that? Oh, Jimmy, a bat. Oh, that would make more sense, to be fair. <laughs> My career. <laughs> it was a dream. It was a dream. What dream, Carlson? This girl. She visited me. Visited you? Visited you how? In my mind. She. 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 She, she had some kind of me. She's stringing me. Tell us about the dream, Carlson. I can't make it. It's gone. It's faded. I can't remember. Carlson, have you ever been hypnotized? No. You might have had a go at it. It may help you with your papers. Let's try it. Not now. He's too intense to me. Oh. You're an anti-hero man. That's standard. This does make it feel very Doctor Who, doesn't it? Let me hypnotise you to... That, that could be John Pertwee, couldn't it? Mm -hmm. I mean, there were fewer naked women in Doctor Who. M much fewer, yes. <laughs> <laughs> See where she is? Yes. Where did you go, Carlson? The place. I don't know the name of it. Oh, she's oh. made her hair go curly. Yeah, and changed colour. A different face. Oh. But it's her. A different face. How can that be? Because she was in a different body. What is she doing? She's looking for a man. What man? Any man. 
Very attractive green plastic Mac, isn't it? Yes, it's like the sort they give out at Wimbledon when the rain inevitably starts. Yeah. Two hearts living in just one no, mind. No, thank you, Phil. Sorry. What's the man doing? He's parked. He's doing something with his car. Can you see the license number of this car? Yes. Look it up. FMC 129E. Ask him his name. She's put my mother's skirt on her knees. She's he's putting his hand. Keep your eyes on the road, sir. Yes. See? How could it? If he had moved him from body to body, mind to mind, taking only a small amount of energy from each victim, it would make sense that her body may lose it. She's happy to leave no trail. If the girl is no longer in her original body. Yes. Kill him. That's right. Supposing you're right about all this. Got a bit too much eyeliner on there, really, isn't he? Yes. It's supposed to make him look tired, do you think? I don't know. Yeah, there's your artichoke. Yeah. It must be said that picture of Earth doesn't look very realistic. No. What the hell? Presented to the Ashmolean Museum by Cockney, who it is. Uh-huh. Ooh. Ominous music of ominous. Bloody awful 
John Tracy やんか。楽しそうだよ。ね、愛想に続く。見たくなっちゃうテンション。パパが、ドラフィピットフォーザバース、ネームエナム。ジョセエナム、サムソンバー、ヒラブルのタガラネーム、インプラクトロフィプルステンハスペル、アフスペンディングラティネーム。He's got a wonderful accent, isn't he? Yeah. Get to the chopper. <laughs> There he is. Hey, finally! Over an hour in. Yeah. This is Mercy's house. Ellen Donaldson is number five. Shouldn't I come up and introduce you? Very good. Come along, Dr. Donaldson. You and I have several matters to discuss. Come along. So apparently he described working with Toho as the best director he'd ever worked with. When did he say that, though? Yeah. Dr. Armstrong brought me over. I'd like to talk to him. May I come in? Yes? What do you want? My name's Colin Kane. This is Colonel Carlson, United States Air Force. May we come in and talk to you? We have seen Dr. Armstrong. Hey, Bowie on the walls. Oh, yeah. And a weird butterfly. That tiger post was everywhere, wasn't it, in the 80s? Yeah. Surprised there isn't the um, woman with the tennis racket well, and one she, ass cheek. Yeah, showing. she's not so likely to have that, is she? Well, it depends. That's perhaps, but I think that was generally a male thing, wasn't it? Not necessarily. A tasteless male thing at that. <laughs> Tell me. Or the naked man oh cuddling a baby. Gone from her to another body now. How do you know that? See it in her mind. She's resisting. I'm going to have to force her to tell me. Despite appearances, this woman is a masochist. An extreme masochist. What? She wants me to force the name out of her. She wants me to hurt her. I can see really? the images in her mind. Yes, my lord. Otherwise, wait outside. Not at all. I am a natural voyeur. Lovely. Are you in there? Is he trying to suck her out? I don't know. Okay. Say what it is then. Doctor, you better send someone to look after Nurse Donaldson. Is she all right? If I described one of the inmates to you, could you identify him? Possibly. Big man, fat, gray hair, birthmark on his face. Jeffrey Sykes was a child diver. Where did you get his description? Where is he now? 
Some solitary confinement. Been naughty. Mm. Been naughty. It's not a very nice brown coat you've got there, Patrick. No. This is like one of his most English performances ever. Uh-huh. Recognise that dude. Where do I know him from? That's the witch smell of the Sweden guy, isn't it? Oh, I'm well confused now. I don't know. I reckon the other dude was in Thing. The other dude was in Thing. It's, all, it's very dude heavy, this, isn't it? Yes. No, like the, the um, earlier dude was definitely the Who dude who was in the Thing. You know, with yes. the Pertwee with the Green Death. Yeah, but yeah. I recognise this bloke. If the Frank Finley guy, that's that's the one I'm now wondering about. What's he been in? He's the one I told you. He was one of the yeah, Bob... Not Bob Marley. Marley no ghost in... Yeah. Yeah, I heard that. What? There's our killer, Sir Percy. Ask him how many lights he can see. Oh, don't. But he might know. Yes, he's the witch man of Sweden guy. But that, I'm not going to... Oh, you have to see who he is. Cause... <laughs> I thought that came up with somebody else. No, well, I got him mixed up. Who's that dude? That dude is John Hallam. Right. No, with him. It's handy, they've got a ramp there. That's him. Right. Oh, he's also in Flash Gordon. Oh, yeah. I don't think who he is in Flash Gordon, though. Oh, he's one. He's isn't he? Um, Brian Blessed's right hand man. Quite possibly. Yeah. He's also in the Wicker Man. He is in Blackadder, but he's Sir Wilfred Death, apparently. Oh, he was in Ghostlight. Yes. 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 Are you sure? No. Lamp, can you bring me another dose of the hypnotic drug? I suppose so, sir. Hypnotic drug. Is that a thing? It's not useful. Hypnotoad. Hypnotoad. Would definitely need more. Bring me three doses. Three! I'll take responsibility, Lamson, Sir Percy and myself. Just get on with it. Okay, sir. Is the second dose safe? 
Surely it can steam his heart. Look. It's a weird room, isn't it? Yes. Octagonal. He slips out from under. Armstrong, can you hear me? Armstrong, if you can hear me, just Ooh, say it. Ooh, severe Dutch angle. Blimey, he's got a set of lungs on him, isn't he? Yes. True truck rather than hypnotic truck. I don't know. It sounded so. like he said Neanderthal. To no, me. Penethol. That's definitely a truth serum, isn't it? I thought true serums were a myth. There's no need for that. Ooh, that's freaky. Okay, so you're right, it is sometimes used as a truth serum. It's also an anaesthetic, can be used, and it can desensitise people to phobias. Mm. So it's got multiple uses. But not hypnosis. No, but then hypnosis is a made up thing, isn't it? Can be used to terminate a seizure. So if it's a made up thing. How did the doctor hypnotise Agador? Because of paradox. Well, I don't know whether hypnosis is a made up thing for animals necessarily. But it... <laughs> I will Google hypnosis and animals. Hang on. What? You've got to give the actors their due. They are giving their all for this rather substandard material, aren't they? Yeah. Well, so you Google animal hypnosis. Yeah. And one of the things that comes up is, is it cruel to hypnotise a chicken? <laughs> I'm sure it is. Especially if you make it cross a road. Oh, blimey, Charles, it's all going... Apparently, yes, because the only way you can keep it still enough to look at the thing you want to hypnotise it with is to pin it down. <laughs> Well, we've learned something tonight. <laughs> yeah. This is just weird.
Calm down. Calm down. Aubrey. Sir, I think his neck is broken. Perhaps you prepare two stretches, one for Sir Percy and one for Dr. Armstrong. Prepare all your remaining doses of the drug for travel. Yes, sir. Besides the girl in the park. In the spring. In a chain reaction, geometrically, until by now. Can we use the radio to get through to the SRC in London? Just a moment, sir. There's something coming through. It is the SRC, sir, for you and Carlson. Go ahead. Hey! Can you hear me? Hello! Hmm. Speak up! Transformed ones. Oh, that's why he got it. But through the energy center two inches below the heart. Not steel, but leaded iron. Right, Carlson? Are you there, Carlson? Yes. Carlson, you two came? It is my belief that the vampires of legend came from such as these. Oh, you see. I know it sounds incredible. Do you hear me, Carlson? Do you hear me? It's true. They visited us before. What about the other male, Pallada? He's free. You know the girl? Yes. We'll be with you as soon as we can. Hold on. Just came through while you were talking, sir. What is it? A scrambled cryptogram. It's to Sir Percy from the Prime Minister. We can proceed directly to the Citadel at Whitehall. Jane. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> what exactly is he projectile vomiting? Blood, by the looks of it. Reminds me of the Jabber Glob. Oh, darling. <laughs> I don't know why you like that so much. Yeah, hey, look where you're going. Ooh. Blimey, Charlie. Oh. Uh. Destroyed the radio equipment and the ship's tapes. The 
It was me. <laughs> I, I didn't want the church to be able to return. And if it did, I didn't want anyone to know what happened. What did happen? I opened your seal animation case. Either I did it or she did it. I couldn't help myself. I've never experienced it. I was in love on a level you've never known, Kane. How does he know that Kane hasn't experienced love? He's going for a tug in the tug room. Yeah. She wanted me, Kane. It was more than just. Which we're picking up in this helicopter. London is on the brink of the worst devastation since the Blitz. From where I'm standing, I can see large areas of the city burning out of control. And thousands of people are now rampaging through the streets here in an frenzied last effort to avoid the plague. It's only a model. Oh, a nun. There's always a nun, isn't there? used to think that they had to line the helicopter up. With the that. Yeah. <laughs> Until like years later someone pointed out to me that no, it's just so they can see where they're supposed to land yeah. from. But I thought it had to be a bit like a parking space, you have to be in the lines. <laughs> I used to have to think they put the <laughs> oh, it's all going to part in London, but oh, would you care for a cup of tea? You know just how sweaty yeah, he is. Yeah, yeah. Oh, very sus. Yes, 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 yes,
<laughs> oh dear. How do they know the pilot ain't got it? Oh, 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 oh! A pair of stunts. Uh, Bloody hell. That's good stunt work, however they're doing it. Yeah. Ooh, he just took his own skin off, that's grim. Ooh. Kick him in the head! <laughs> nice. No weapons were British. Even the army. <laughs> yeah. It is. What's wrong with the, they've got to go to Blackheath. Why they got to go there? Just because that's where they have the fireworks. What's wrong with NATO anyway? I don't know. It's like, oh no, the Europeans are in charge. NATO was European, I thought it included the US, didn't it? It does, yes. yes. They keep talking about SRC, and I know it's supposed to be State Space Research Centre, but given all the bloody marriage law changes, I keep thinking, why do they keep asking about a superintendent registrar certificate? Mm -hmm. That makes sense. We had to watch a film about a bloody infection, didn't we? Oh, dear. <laughs> it's like the book that's at the bottom of my to-be-read pile. Started reading it because it, it, you know, was about um, stuff in space that I like and characters and aliens, my sort of thing. Female protagonist, brilliant. It starts off and there's been a plague. I've read one chapter. I'm like, no. Yeah. Not that I'll never read it, but right now, nah. little blue lights going up toward the clouds. They're human souls. <laughs> How do you know that? I feel it. The process of conversion releases a life energy. It can be collected, collected. That's the umbrella. Collector. The energy doesn't go free. It's it reminding me of something. <laughs> Should I be worried? Yeah. <laughs> they are vampires collecting life energy. 
Oh, it's a punk. It's got to be the 1980s. Get it up to the collector. Maybe she calls him. Over there. Over there. on a new life form. They have to learn from that life form. Mate with it, in a sense. The girl chose me. But when she mixed with me, she gave me a part of herself. Blind air, Riley, is it? Now she wants that Info part dump, in it? Yeah. I'm glad it's not necessary to destroy London. I'm bloody living in it. You're allowed to just give away your guns, right? I suppose he is SAS and so military as well. No. <laughs> Those gates are not very Yeah, good, no, are they're they? not going to keep anything out, are they? No. It's like the vampires turn yeah. victims into zombies, isn't it? It's a bit mixed up. Yeah. See what I mean? Yeah. That was tracksuit, mate. Guys. Snails. <laughs> Got his arm off, and it's still there. Supposed to be. Where is that Greenwich Observatory? Hmm. I don't know. Thought it was supposed to be in Central London. Okay. Well, so it's clearly just a back lot somewhere, isn't well, it? No, I know. They had mentioned Blackheath. That's mm. all. Actually, it looks like more like St Alfred's Greenwich. It does. <laughs> Oh, I know, I've got to say location, location filming. But that's, it's got to be a backlight, isn't it, surely? Am 
Well, I said, which film is it when they're all lying on the steps protesting and then they have to go and ask for something? Is that the Naval College? Where is that and where is it supposed to be? It's supposed to be Hampshire, apparently. Okay, I thought they said it was in central London. Yeah, it's supposed to be, but I mean, it's in actual reality. Okay. Brent Cross Shopping Centre. Wow. Wow. Mm-hmm. Elstree, what a surprise. Christchurch, Hampshire, apparently. Mm. Where's this? Some office block somewhere, isn't it? Yeah. This is where it all kicked off, isn't it? The Science yeah. Space Centre headquarters place. That's what I'm wondering where it is. Father, Dan, let's see you alive. I reciprocate the sentiment. <laughs> He's got to be a wrong one as well, isn't he now? Yeah. How did you survive? I'm looking for Carl. Has he been here? No. But I have to see Miss Lenny. What do you know about her? I've been doing some more work. Go on. I discovered there is life. How do you know? There was a certain mental transfer, telepathy that occurs between the vampires and the victims. Is he sweaty? Yep. How did you know that? Oh, I have a fellow order. Where is she, Falada? Have a fellow order. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's supposed to be some pools. Really? Yeah, well, that dome was nowhere near big enough, was it? <laughs> that will be Westminster Abbey, Kings and Queens. Well, I'm trying to Stay think. where you are. Are there any Kings and Queens? No, you're right, it's generally no, Westminster Abbey. It's Westminster Abbey. Yeah. You've got the poets yeah. and the scientists. And admirals and things. Yeah. yeah. Westminster Abbey is the Kings and Queens. Ooh. There I go. Ooh, that's really cool effect. Yeah. Oh, we farted blue. <laughs> <laughs> Surprised I don't do that sometimes. Yeah. The effects are really good. It's a shame the story's so bobbins, really. Yeah. <laughs> oh, behind you. Zombie, zombie. See, that's never St. Paul's anyway, is it? No. I knew you'd come, Carson. I should probably get dressed for a change anyway.
So it was filmed in Hampshire, the church bits? Most of it was, yeah. Oh, no. madness end. Well, you yeah, know how you feel, mate. I mean, to be fair, I don't really remember St Paul's Cathedral well. It's The crypt's a lot bigger than that. It's been a while since I've been. My overriding memory is when I went to a, to a uh, ordination of someone at our church and I ate far too many scampy fries and was really <laughs> ill on the way home. <laughs> That's kind of like, I so associate St Paul's Cathedral with too many scampy fries and fishy vomit. Oh. <laughs> That's not the fault of St Paul's Cathedral, it was entirely my own fault. Come with me, Carlson. Come with me, Carlson. Props to the lighting guy as well. Ooh. I must be London, there's a red bus. Running vampire victim slash zombies. Zombies, yes. Origin of running zombies, maybe. Yeah. Prefab sprout? What? <laughs> As opposed to have look, prefab sprout. Hot dog jumping, jumping frog. Uh, Last a zombie. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, the pub's on fire! No! no! Save the pub! <laughs> Go to the Winchester, let it all blow over. <laughs> That's probably a battle. There was a mite, I don't know if this still is, there was a mite pub near St Paul's. Chancery Lane, well, it's next to St Paul's Chancery Lane station, mm -hmm. it's the next one on, fair enough. Like they're advertising Interflora. for Interflora, yeah. Although the nearest station to St Paul's is St Paul's rather than Chancery Lane, but... <laughs> Glas Glasgow's miles better, apparently. I'm sure it is, considering the state of London in this. <laughs> <laughs> It's not full of burning zombies for starters. <laughs> Unless the old firm Derby's on again. I think that was a Masonic centre, the IMDB thing. They have tried to make that board thing look like St Paul's though, haven't they? It's not big enough though. It's got a City of London crest on it, they're not doing yeah. too badly. Well, there's Actually, a lot more stairs up to St Paul's. That, that might be an actual City of London church they've filmed on the outside of, to be honest. We're going a bit Ghostbusters now, aren't we? Who was watching that last night? It'll be much less terrifying if you just come to me. Yeah. <laughs> For Do just that. Ooh, uh. Stabby stabby. Ooh. Oh, it's gone red now. I'm melting, I'm melting. What a world, what a world. He blowed it Oh, oh what my the life! Fuck? I'm Batman. <laughs> Alien bat thing. Wow. 
How do you follow that? Oh, I don't know. Let's <laughs> find out. Oh, it's definitely going all motion picture now. Chuck him the sword then. I have the power! Ooh, uh. yeah. oh. Kebab. Yet again, Patrick Stewart. Barely not really in it very much. No, he was third build of the thing, but he's not come up yet. <laughs> wow. This is an order of appearance, maybe. Wow. Oh, he wasn't there. We missed him. Uh -huh. My Martis. I didn't notice any mime artists. No. Why did they need mime artists? I don't know. Um, this whole film is just baffling. It is, isn't it? Apparently this was the one that made more sense, wasn't it? Yes, this is the cut that made sense. Sense. Oh dear. Well, it, it wasn't boring, like no, uh, no. Excalibur. No. And um, it wasn't, well, 
I suppose it's up there with June, really. Sort of pretentious twaddle. I don't think it was as pretentious as June. I, he would have had to try hard to be as pretentious as June. But it's just, it's just the plot's just weird. It doesn't make any sense, really, does it? And, I mean, the stars, in inverted commas, are not really anybody big, are they? That dude from Spooks, I mean, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Presumably they saved a few be, bucks by... None home. of them were big yet. Yeah. Apparently that was... Um, I mean, if they got Anthony Hopkins, I mean, although he wasn't as big back then, but no. at least that would have been more of a draw, I think. Apparently, by the way, that was Patrick Stewart's first on-screen kiss. And when was, did he kiss? He kissed the guy when he was the girl. Did he? Yes. Okay. If you see what I mean. Uh huh. Bizarre. Yes. Oh yeah, good effects. Yeah, had that going for nice, it. Nice, nice music. <laughs> I think I'm not bad acting it's just just weird writing yes very odd writing and very dude heavy yeah the women were there to be well one of them was the protagonist fair enough but she never had any fucking clothes no um and a lot of the other women were just you know victims and that was it <sighs> wow so I hope this is the last one of these we have to do <laughs> <laughs> crud knows what let's see what levels of desperation we would uh... oh go on what, what's next if we if we do if we have to do it if there's still a lockdown and we can't do the uh, the films that we want to do with Andy and Amber uh, Patrick Stewart's next big film. I mean, big film is a bit. Like... <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. And clearly, we've not really had his breakout role yet. So I'd be interested to see what that is. Uh, so we've got Life Force, Code Name Emerald. I don't think so. The Dot from the Devils, Lady Jane, Screenplay. It's really nothing big here. L.A. Story is that. That's quite a big film, isn't it? I think so. He plays Miss Monsieur Perdue Matridi de la Idiot. Okay. What and then Star Trek, that? basically. So we've only we've only got that film to do, I think. Well, isn't he in that bird something? Bird something? Bird cage, bird wire, bird. Oh, a uh, bird on the wire or something, but that's much later on. That's post Star Trek, I think. Oh, okay. So there we go, folks. That's that's our Easter special. Yeah. Doesn't get much more special. Well, it is about but... coming back from the dead. Yeah, I suppose it is quite topical. Uh, do you believe in life after death? Yeah. Hmm. Bizarre. <laughs> <laughs> Right, uh, well, the ordinary podcasts continue with uh, B- Buck Rogers. Borg Rogers, yeah. Yes, and the original series, Star Trek. We'll catch you for those. Take care. Happy Easter. Cheers. Happy bye. Easter. Bye. The artwork for the Picast, Pie Cast. <laughs> is by Andy Pelasides. All music referenced is for illustrative purposes only and no copyright infringement is intended. Find our website at broadcast.libsyn.com And we have a YouTube channel as well. You can find the broadcast playouts on Spotify for your listening pleasure. Visit our Tumblr site at broadcast.tumblr.com where you'll find images accompanying the episodes discussed in this cast. Send emails or mp3s to broadcast at gmail.com or you can contact us via Twitter on rev underscore org or broadcast ammo. Hashtag broadcast.
Shut it down! Ride them in raw heart.